Aquarius, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Here on Christmas Eve Eve, Aquarius, thank you for your continued support throughout the year. Thank you for how you have helped the channel grow. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't express my gratitude enough. So just know that I know that it's because of your support and dedication to the channel that has helped the channel grow. And I'm so grateful for you. Aquarius, this is Aquarius sun, moon, rising, Aquarius energy in general. So um, whatever energies come out in the cards, you can apply them to wherever Aquarius influences your natal chart. Please, if it does not fit, do not squeeze it. Just let it go. Now, Aquarius, I'm going to do a full oracle card spread here on YouTube. And then in the description box below, there is always a link to an extended video where I do a full tarot card spread to articulate and extend this reading and your seven-day love romance. So let's see what the cards have in store for you on Christmas Eve Eve. All right, crowning your energy, two cards come out. Now is a lucky time, turn knowledge into wisdom. There is a situation here that you have, something that you did not know, something that's been kept from you, or something that's been hidden, particularly an energy of somebody who is interested in you, cares about you, intuitively wants to keep an eye on you, is hungry for you. Because remember, the wolf feeds on the hare. And there's something to do with something that was hidden um, feeding on the luck you had in your life because there's a lot of abundance but there's also a hole in your heart there is a sense of loss in a sense of time of great gain there's a sense of loss and I think that this has to do with intuitive and emotional loss as opposed to actual as as opposed to actual um, loss of resources because resources 3d resources are very very good but this is almost like the moon card there is something hidden that or something there it feels like there's something hidden or something missing that you just can't you just can't get over or uh, there's a little bit of a hole in your heart and it's sort of it's hungry it's eating it, it may be making you sort of you know be too into some sort of copious amounts of material goods uh, and around this time of year it's very easy to do that but Aquarius this has to do with trying to fill a hole in your heart that hole in your heart there's this ache and this need I also feel it coming through that there's this energy of somebody you want somebody wants you somebody that wants to connect with you but there's this there's this almost stalking quality at this point where they haven't come forth and told you or um, maybe they're just not even in your life yet. They, they're they looking for you still, but they don't, they don't realize it's you yet. There's just this energy of searching for something to fill a hunger, a hunger that was left by a piece of you falling out. Yeah, and there's something that you don't see. There's a hidden opportunity that you don't see. And perhaps it's because of all the distraction and, and all of the things that are emotionally going on, but there's something that you don't see. An opportunity that maybe hasn't presented itself to you or is standing there waiting, waiting for you to, to pounce on it. <clears throat> waiting for you to realize this what kind of opportunity it really is um there's basically an opportunity to sort of double down on your money and your resources to really sort of procreate your material resources your your 3d wealth um but it i don't you may already have it in your sights you may already see it but for some reason you haven't leapt on it this of course is also my fertility card so you could actually be thinking about or wanting to have a baby or you but what with the wolf card it's almost like you may already know that you're pregnant but you just haven't told anybody yet interesting now that's your crowning energy so there is abundance or something that's about to pop off that you haven't shared with anybody yet or it's being kept from you so you don't you're not realizing you're not privy to it yet let's get more into this reading and see where it leads us Aquarius Aquarius energy sun moon rising for the next seven days for the next seven days you can apply these energies to you Aquarius 
for the next seven days, Aquarius, Aquarius energy, Aquarius energy, sun, moon, rising, please, sun, moon, rising, any Aries energy, any Aries energy. You know, it's funny how the cards are coming out in phases with you. Almost like step one, step two, it's like phase one, phase two. This is phase two. So you have your crowning energy of an abundance that is not yet revealed to you or something that you have not yet revealed. You know this is coming in. You know this is going to be good stuff. Something that you know that you've kept secret or kept hidden that you haven't wanted to share or somebody outside of you is keeping it secret. They haven't shared it with you yet. Here we are. Tend to the small things. You may be caught up this week in a lot of tedium. Tedious things that need to be addressed that you don't want to address. They're bugging you. This is also sort of the infestation card. These little, This little delicate energy, it seems so nice. It seems so innocent. But where there is one mouse... There are many mice in those walls, and it's basically something that's built up over time. So there's this energy of an issue that has been growing over time, something that has been growing over time. Um, once again, it could still be this hidden pregnancy that's been growing over time, or it could be something that's been bothering you, something that's been sitting on your heart and your soul that you've been trying to bury, and you just, it's its growing out of control. It's, it's going to keep popping up, and it's going to keep getting worse. So the issue, the answer to this question is, what do you need to address? What is it that has been, that you know of, but you've been, you, you know, it, it almost, it maybe started out as something small, something, but it kept multiplying, it kept growing and it kept multiplying. Let's see what these cards take us. Know your worth, something that's, what did I say? So, there's a hole in your heart this week. Maybe it's because of the holidays, but there is a hole in your heart this week that sort of makes you have to fake it, fake being happy, fake being uh, you know, fake being, um, you know, in a party mood. There is this energy of not really feeling good enough this week. Uh, you know, not feeling like you fit in. Trying to fit in even though you stand out. Um, basically not wanting to stand out, which is also not really like you. You really do like the spotlight, don't you? But there's this energy of wanting to fit in this week instead of stand out. You could be building something underneath the covers, like not literally underneath the covers, but definitely sort of um, have been working on something for a while. And the reason why you don't want to stand out is because you don't want to draw too much attention to it. Because right now, if you drew attention to it, it might be stamped out like it's a bad thing. It's almost like you, you want it, you, you don't want to talk about it yet. Um, but you acknowledge it and you're working on this. You definitely have something that you're working on under wraps that you have not told anybody yet, Aquarius. Time to let go. This is an energy of having your heart eaten out, right? Of uh, under, this, this is that Plutonian energy of the underworld, of something that is dying or dying slowly, something that has been needling you and hurting you, something that has been sort of making you feel oppressed or making you feel not good enough for quite some time, making you feel not yourself is, is, is what this energy is. So there's, there's something weighing on your heart. And I wonder, I wonder if it is the holiday season that's making you feel this way, Aquarius, or just a concern about a project that you've been working on that has not been going as smoothly as you wanted it to go. And now you're a little bit worried about it because you don't feel like there's, you don't feel like there's a full set of sincerity here. You don't, you, you know, it's almost like what you expected it to be. It didn't turn out as, but it's almost like you're stuck in it now and you don't like it. It's making you uncomfortable. Think on your feet, go with the flow. This is Sagittarius energy. You may be dealing with an, a Sagittarius Aquarius, somebody that you have to sort of um, just accept for they, who they are or, or their ways have been, whoever you are dealing with this week, 
Their ways have been bugging you. They've been irritating you. They've been annoying you. They're starting to get to you. And I think it's because you are questioning their sincerity. You're, con question you're questioning it because you started to see some petty behavior in them that you don't like. It's almost like it's, 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 yeah, it's, it's, um, Ooh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. It, it, you you, you kind of see their fakeness now. You kind of see, you wish you had seen it years ago so that they didn't affect you the way, the way that they do. There's just definitely this energy, and it doesn't have to be Sagittarius. This is just Sagittarius energy um, coming through of somebody who is chaotic, somebody who loses focus very easily, somebody who basically needs somebody else to help them get their shit together and direct their flow. Um, so you could be actually be dealing with a child. This has a very youthful energy, very immature energy. Um, maybe this person has been upsetting you for quite some time, or they could even be somebody from your past that they're coming back into your life more now. And it's just like little by little, they've been working their way back into your life or into your circle and they bug you. To, to be to be totally honest with you, they bug you and you've tried to ignore it, but you just you can't and I think you're trying to be very diplomatic and keep this under wraps but I don't think that you you can um you are never alone you could be getting a, a love opportunity a love offer a love offer from somebody that you're not as equally invested in dream the world into being there's definitely this this it's almost like your past diverges from your future and you don't really see this person as a part of your future and yet for some reason they won't stop creeping up on you. That's really interesting energy. I keep saying that. I think the I think all of my readings are intriguing, but let's get a little bit deeper into it because I still want to get your grounding energy. Aquarius, you are never alone. Dream the world into being you know who you want to be with and it's not this person and it's like why is this person constantly coming back why are they the one needling me why 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 won't they go away and help me make room for this you know i think that maybe they might have come back because if something happened to you um they were concerned about you they're not an unloving person they're just an unreliable person and and how they are irritates you and you've been pretending that everything is okay but it's been building for a while and aquarius honestly in order to like cut them loose and get rid of them i really do feel like you're just gonna have to just be truthful if you don't there's sort of um there's this energy of you wish that they would just go away instead of you having to confront them about it because your prospects in the future or who you want to be with now has changed a great deal. You know, it, it can, and I, maybe they're making claims that they've changed a great deal, but you're like, but, but don't you feel the lack of love? Like, don't you feel it? Don't you feel the lack of connection? It's definitely this energy of, um, Something that you were involved in wants you more than you want it, or it seemed like it was going to be better than it turned out being. Let me get one more card to fill out this, this middle of the road energy so that we can get your, we can get your grounding energy. And I'll flip the camera around. Aquarius, Aquarius energy. For the next seven days, Aquarius, Aquarius energy. Okay. Oh, that just slipped out. That's really interesting. Oh, really interesting. Actually, I, I, I'm going to do this again because I just realized I wasn't, I wasn't shuffling the whole deck. Hold on, Aquarius. So the last card that came out is co-create with spirit. See, you have a higher calling. You have a higher purpose. You've changed. You've definitely found your purpose and you found your voice. 
And there's an aspect of this person that doesn't fit it. You know, it's almost like you know that you're, it's almost like there's this melancholy aspect of you wish it had turned out differently. But there's definitely this pull that's taking you forward. Grounding is give with gratitude and grace. See, you're very abundant of spirit. And you don't want to just, like you're, ju you're just being kind is what it is. You're being very generous and you're being very kind. And I have a feeling that whoever this is, even if this is an opportunity, they're taking your kindness and your generosity as meaning too much. Yeah, you're ready to let go. You're ready to let go. Even though they've grown up a little bit, they really have. There's this energy of them maturing and becoming more mature, um, emotionally mature. Um, but you become more emotionally mature. It's like you don't need this person anymore. You're ready to move on. You're definitely just going, trying, trying, trying to pretend like everything is right when it's not. This could also be this energy of this young love or this young lover that has come into your life that you're keeping on the DL right now and you don't want to tell anybody, but it's like spirit sees you and you wonder if they approve. There's something with this connection, even if you're excited about it, you wonder if the, the powers that be. This came out with turkey spirit for your grounding energy. So there's this emotionally mature energy of learning how to give and what to give and how much to give and how to set your boundaries. Also learning how to let go of the past and navigate your emotions as well as your intentions and making sure that the two of them stay in this fine balance. It's time to like let go, let go of feeling responsible or feeling obligated for somebody else's emotions or somebody else's desires or expectations of you. Like, you know, realizing that Aquarius, you have enough. So you can let this go without actually losing much at all. Hold on, I'm gonna flip the camera around. Okay, Aquarius, so here's your full spread. Grounding your energy is the um, ability or the mentality to be able to let go of the old because there's so much abundance coming in and you know that, you absolutely know that. But for some reason, and it could very well be to sort of save face on the outside or, or keep up the ruse that everything is going status quo, you have somehow for some reason held on to this energy, held on to this old energy or, um, or, or held on to the secrets, held on to um, the, the, held on to, to uh, held on to the reality of this abundance. So you have not shared it yet with people. There is hidden abundance here. There is hidden luck. Either it's actually hidden from you. Or you have intentionally decided to hold on to the abundance because you're not ready to share it with somebody yet. There is this feeling of somebody in your life being immature, a young energy. And it could very well be that maybe you have a child in your life that you don't want to share it with because you're sort of afraid of some sort of connection from the past and you don't know how they're going to take this news. You know, you don't know if they're going to be as happy about it as you are. Or there's this energy, or there's this energy of immature energy that keeps coming back. It's been weighing on your heart for a while. It's been eating away at you. You want to share this energy, but you don't want to share it with this person. And it could very well be because they're the wrong person for you. You can feel that. You can feel sort of just their immature, sporadic, kind of chaotic energy can't settle down. Or you know that they're not ready to hear this yet. So it's almost like maybe you have a child and you haven't broken the news to them yet that they're going to have a sibling because you, you're not sure how to talk to them about it or say it or, or you don't think the time is right. I feel like the time right now for you, Aquarius, has it's not right yet or you don't feel like it's right. You sort of want to get through this season. There's a heaviness in your heart. And it's been growing. This thing that you're hiding, this thing that you're pretending isn't happening or you're disguising, it's been growing for a while and it could have to do with the fact that it's irritation that's growing about a specific person that just keeps coming, showing back up in their, your life 
as if they have a right to, and you haven't basically confronted them yet and said, you just, you're just not my ideal anymore. Why do you keep coming back? It's really interesting. Hold on. Well, I'm going to go over it. So I'm going to pull the tarot cards. Let's see, dig into this energy of what exactly it is that you're hiding or somebody is hiding from you and how exactly you're going to finally be able to let go. Even though this might be a very generous offer, you don't want it. We're going to find out why and do your full love spread. Um, I'll see you over there, Aquarius.